Hey guys, for no reason at all, I really wanted a suspenseful intro into this video, so here we go. I decided that I am going to go get a tattoo today. So I have no idea what to expect. I am sweating. y'all <laughs> that is not my intro i hate that y'all see my ceiling hold on let's fix this hello my kings and queens and welcome back to another video so as you guys know um it's been very eventful year with the beginning uh starting off with my birthday it didn't go as i had hoped for it to go you know i was supposed to go to vidcon this year italy this year that all got canceled and then graduation and stuff all just got canceled and this year has just been really crazy and with the rights and protests we have to stay in we have to be safe but now that that has kind of subsided and has got safer, I guess, uh, for us to be outside, I decided that I am going to go get a tattoo today. Well, I didn't decide it today. I decided a few days ago, but my appointment is today. It is currently 11 o'clock in the morning, as you can see right there. My appointment is at two. Um, one thing about it, I am kind of sad because um, I really want somebody to be with me when I get it, but because uh, the virus is still going around, they're trying to be as safe as possible with their precautions and they are trying to make sure that, you know, it's just not a big old crowd of people. I mean, I would only bring one person, but still the fact that they don't want that one person in there really means that they're trying to be careful and safe, which I love. So yeah, this is basically just gonna be a little vlog of me getting my tattoo today. I am not gonna show you guys it until it is complete, but I just wanna go along with you guys on my journey because this is my first tattoo, so I have no idea what to expect. I, I, I don't know what that sound just was. Maybe I was like, I do have a high pain tolerance for a lot of things. And um, when I got my cartilage piercings, they did not hurt. And just like overall dealing with a lot of like physical pain, I am pretty good at it just cause I feel like my pain tolerance is high. But we never know, a tattoo is completely different. So um, yeah, come along with me on my journey. I'm about to hop in the shower cause I just got, well, I didn't just wake up, but I just got, got out of bed. Yeah, look at this hair. I took my wig off and this is my hair. It has grew so much, but um, I'm not gonna show you guys just cause I don't wanna take these out because I'm probably just gonna wear my hair like this today. Um, So yeah, um, yeah. I'm going to my grandma's house at 12 just to hang out with them for a few hours and then I am going to get the tat. So I will see you guys when I'm um, done getting dressed. Okay guys, so I just got dressed. I decided it's gonna be a no makeup day today just because I feel like I don't really need to wear makeup. I got this hat on. This is the fit. I don't wanna wear something that I would have to take off and I feel like with this tank, I can just pull the arm down. But um, I got some breakfast and we're off to my grandma's house to see my granddad and my mom. I'm on my phone, by the way. New phone, iPhone 11. Got it the night of graduation. Super happy. I'm hot, trying to turn this air on. And let's go to grandma's. See y'all at grandma's. change of plans so the next well so the next clip that you see will be me in the parking lot of the tattoo shop because i didn't really video at my grandma so so guys i didn't really vlog at my grandma's house just because i was just chilling with my mom and stuff so i just got here and i'm about to go in let's see if i can film in there or not but y'all will just see i don't know what to expect all right let's go y'all Okay guys, I am done. I am sweating. That was so long, two hours. But yeah, I'll show you guys pictures and stuff when I get home. I have to keep that wrap on. I have to keep this on for like an hour. So yeah. All right y'all, so I'm in the car. I'll see y'all later so we can like go into detail about everything and I can talk about 
you know, pain level and all that other good stuff. So I will see y'all either at my grandma's house or when I get home so we can deliberate together. Hey guys, so I'm at my grandma's house with my mom. Let me say hi to the vlog. Hi to the vlog. And I just ate and I'm about to take this off because it's been an hour. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, so I just finished eating I'm in the bathroom. Time to peel this off here. This one's already. Okay, got the top off. One knee or one knee. I know, right? So big. I know. Well, guys, this is it. Let me get a close up so y'all can see it. This is it. So, guys, now I'm just going to talk about the whole experience of it real quick before I end the video. So, basically, when I got there, she was working on someone. And my appointment was at 2, so it, I didn't really get started until about 3 because she was still working on someone. But um, I sat in the chair. I was really nervous. Um, she's done my sister's tattoos. And the shop is really, like, my family goes to that shop. So, they're kind of familiar with me. She was saying how much I look like my older sister Simone and so I showed her the picture and she drew some stencils on my arm and was like is this how you want it to look and all that I was like yeah she started like getting ready and like my anticipate my anxiety was going up and she gave me a remote she was like here you can watch tv because she had amazon prime on her tv so I turned on Columbiana which if you don't know is an action movie with Zoe Saldana from like 2000 like Eight probably and so I was watching that and she started off with this bottom part and with the bottom part on a scale of one to ten it was about a three obviously it hurt because it's where she started so I didn't know what to expect so when she put the needle on it was hurting and I was like oh my gosh is should I really be getting this like oh my god nah. like I, you know this feeling that you have when you get a tattoo eventually uh, got used to it and it was fine. Then she started moving back here this way. Um, one to 10, this whole piece right here, that was about a four. It was still okay, but it was like closer to my bone. So it was like, hey, I was scared. Then she started going back here. That part was about a five because closer to the bone and I was like, Ugh. but then I, it started getting numb to me and it went back to about a four. Then she started shading it, so I got used to it. And then she had me lay back on the table, as you guys saw, to do this flower just so she could get to it better. This flower, I have to say, this whole flower and these leaves up to this part, all on a scale of one to 10, like an eight. This part right here, I would say about an eight and a half, but this part down here, I would say just like a seven and a half, maybe just cause um, it's less skin right here, as you can see. This part is more muscly than this part. So yeah, that was my experience um, for a first tattoo. Um, like I told you guys before, I have a high pain tolerance, so it wasn't that bad. And um, as far as costs, when I figured out I wanted to get it and she was able to squeeze me in earlier this week or late last week, I think I called her on like Saturday. The down payment was $25. And then when I left, I paid $100 straight up, which isn't bad because the other lady that I was thinking about going to around the time of my birthday was talking 500 and I was like, no, no. So this is the first of many more to come. I'm probably not gonna get any more this high up just because I feel like this one is so big, it already gets the job done for the upper half of my body. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to become a king or a queen. And if you are looking to get a tattoo, make sure that you talk to your parents if you live with them and if they're like, talk to your guardian to make sure they know about it. My parents were full on knowing. My mom was really excited about it, as you see, she was in here. And also make sure that you get something that you know you'll really, really want for the rest of your life because tattoos are permanent and they do not go away unless you get them removed in various sessions of laser removal, which probably hurts worse than the tattoo itself. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Sierra X Andrea. Follow my makeup Instagram at C Makeup. It is currently Pride Month, happy Pride. Um, so I'm going to be posting soon a video for a Pride look. Also follow me on TikTok. We just hit 181K. So thank you so much for that. On the road to 200K. And this week's post notification shout out goes to Andrea Blackman. Thank you, Andrea, for having my post notifications on. If you want a post notification shout out, all you have to do is hit that bell icon so you know whenever I post a new video. And I will shout out somebody who comments down below on this video in my next video. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!